Macroscale, how to use a separatory funnel. This is a separatory funnel with which you can perform a liquid-liquid extraction. One phase will be aqueous, the other will be an organic phase. Before you pour in the first liquid, make sure the stopcock is closed. It is a good habit to have a clean beaker underneath the separatory funnel. In the case of a spill, the liquid will be collected in the beaker. First, add the solution you want to extract in the separatory funnel. This is an aqueous layer we want to extract with diethyl ether. Therefore, the organic layer solvent is added, which is diethyl ether. Close the lid. Take the separatory funnel out of the ring. And secure the lid with one hand. Turn the separatory funnel around. Some pressure might have been built up and you want to release the pressure by opening the stopcock. Open the stopcock always by pointing out of everybody's way. The direction of the hood is the best choice. Close the stopcock and in general an extraction requires a good mixing of the solvent. Make sure you open the stopcock in between. Release the pressure more often at the beginning. After a while there will be less pressure built up. Then you put the separatory funnel back in the stand. Let's layer separate and to know which layer is which, you can use the density of the solvents. You can also use a drop test by adding a drop of water and follow the drop and if it goes through the top layer you know that the bottom layer is the aqueous layer. Or if you add ether and the drop stays in the top layer, then the top layer is the ether layer. So in this case, the top layer is the ether layer, which was seen by the drop test. And also, if you look at the density, ether will be lighter than water, so that is the top layer. In order to uh, get the ether layer, you have to remove the aqueous layer first. Make sure the lid is open, and now remove the aqueous layer from the separatory funnel by opening the stopcock. Let the water run out till the separation line and get the ether in a separate alumio flask or beaker. In general, you do the extraction, you repeat the reaction two or three times in order to have a complete extraction of the compound you want to have. Some solutions tend to build emulsions while it's extracted. That will be the case in the experiment of the extraction of caffeine from tea with dichloromethane. In this case, you don't shake the separatory funnel vigorously. Start with rocking motions and keep doing that for five minutes. Also here you can do the drop test to know which layer is which. If you add a drop of dichloromethane, you can follow it to the bottom layer. If you shake the separator funnel too much, you will see emulsion layer in between the organic and the aqueous layer. If you shake it even more vigorously, you will have an emulsion layer with probably no chance of separation.